Hey everyone, welcome to It Tastes Different Gaming Appetizers. In this episode, we're talking about Marvel vs. Capcom and how it has skipped the Xbox. So Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection that comes with X-Men, Children of the Atom, Marvel superheroes, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, The Punisher, Marvel vs. Capcom, and Marvel superheroes vs. Street Fighters. Uh, then, then, uh, uh, yes, it includes those. <clears throat> uh, it was shown off during the Nintendo Direct. So this is a, a a collection, a fighting collection of, you know, one of the greatest fighting games, which is Marvel vs. Capcom Two, onto modern platforms. Uh, it's coming to the Switch, the PlayStation Four, and the PC, but no Xbox, and that has caused some backlash. Xbox or Capcom made its announcements without offering any explanation on the decision to skip Xbox and the company declined to comment when contacted. Uh, this comes, you know, that same day during the Nintendo Direct, they also uh, announced that they were bringing two Ace Attorney investigation titles to Xbox in a similar collection. So, you know, people are kind of baffled as to why Marvel vs. Capcom um, would not be coming on to Xbox. Because Marvel vs. Capcom 2 launched on Xbox in 2022. And again, excuse me, on the Xbox 360 during the uh, live arcade in 2009. So, um, and the last game in the series, Infinite, launched on Xbox One in 2017. So Xbox owners have reacted with the news of the bit, uh, a mix of bewilderment and anger. The backlash was strong enough to cause the phrase no Xbox to trend on social media. And there are angry comments on Xbox subreddits and discords. One Redditor said, I have a Switch, but I play all my fighting games on Xbox with an arcade stick. An absolute gut punch. It's not coming to Xbox, especially considering Ace Attorney Investigations was announced for Xbox. Uh... Another added the other Capcom collection announced on the presentation Ace Attorney is coming to Xbox, so they are clearly not against putting their games on the console. Then why is MVC not coming? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a shame, really. Um, you know, and, and as far as I know, and you can correct me down in the comments if you heard something, but as far as I know, you know, Capcom hasn't said why. Um, you know, fans can go through speculating as to why, uh, some believe it is a result of Capcom's MT framework engine being, uh, uh, being basically dismantled on the Xbox one. And many pointed out, this would explain why other Capcom collections, such as the Mega Man Battle Network, uh, Monster Hunter stories also skipped Xbox. There's a feeling that Capcom has decided it's not worth the time, energy, or resources that would be uh, be required to bring its MT framework collections to Xbox One. But that's just all spe speculation. Um, so, I mean, it could be because, yeah, there are other titles that did not come to Xbox, and it does seem weird. Uh, the Mega Man Battle Network, it's weird that that didn't come to Xbox because all the legacy collections did. Right. And it's like, why this is also a legacy collection. Why wouldn't it have come uh, to Xbox uh, Monster Hunter stories in stories too? you know, again, another one that's like, why wouldn't that have come to Xbox? Like, there's no reason uh, why those wouldn't have unless the MT framework just does not work on Xbox one specifically. <clears throat> right. Because these are coming out for PS4 and Switch and uh uh, PC and older uh, consoles. So, you know, it could just be the fact that the, the MT framework doesn't work there, but we don't know. You know, it's com without word from Capcom, we just have no clue. So, it, it ultimately, it really sucks for those individuals who are looking forward to this, who have an Xbox, or maybe Xbox is uh, all they have. And they, you know, and that's all they play on. Uh, maybe it's the only console they have or, you know, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> and now they're not going to be able to 
to play this game, right? If they don't have any other means to play it. Um, especially if they're big into fighting games and Marvel versus Capcom is their favorite, uh, you know, they're going to have to look elsewhere and it really sucks. It really does. And it sucks for those individuals that maybe like that one guy that does have other consoles, but he likes to play his fighting games on Xbox. Right. Um, I'm kind of the same way. I don't have an arcade stick, but when it comes to playing fighting games specifically, I prefer to play them with an Xbox controller. Um, I think it's just better for fighting games. But that's, you know, that's just me um, when it comes to fighting games. Like, I, I just feel like the Xbox controller is better for fighting games, um, while other controllers are great for other things, right? So, yeah, it just really sucks because I know they had some online stuff, too, with the Punisher and, and probably Marvel vs. Capcom as well. And so, you know, luckily, my friends have all the devices, so we can find something up all by it on PlayStation or something like that. But and then we can fight each other and berserk a barrage and all that good stuff. But uh, <laughs> it still sucks for those that only have an Xbox and it still sucks for just Xbox in general. Right. I mean, besides their Xbox presentation this summer, which was great, probably one of the, it was definitely the best one uh, this summer and definitely one of the top uh, showcases Xbox has done. But in a long time, I should say. Uh, but still, when these other titles come out, these lesser titles or more niche titles come out and they don't come to Xbox, that just, I feel like that just hurts the the brand overall, right? Um, it just, it puts a negative mark on it because, um, you know, for those individuals looking for those or interested in those types of titles, um, you know, that's, that can make a decision for them on what console they're going to buy. And again, it just depends on the individuals, right? And and what games they like to play and, and what they're looking forward to. So, uh, and, and, you know, it probably also sucks for Capcom because I'm sure, I, I doubt it's because of the time and, and resources and stuff. I think it's, you know, because they probably make some good money off of it because um, it's probably not, well, I, I'm not, I don't know how much it's, it's costing them to, to create this collection, but um, still though, you know, I would say the decision is more on a technical side of thing, a limitation than it is, you know, we just don't want to do it because if that was the case, I would assume that Capcom, especially with these older collections, wouldn't put anything on Xbox. But the fact that they have put quite a few things on Xbox and some not makes me think that there is some sort of technical issue with uh some of the other titles so that's the only thing i can think of but you know it is what it is hopefully capcom will say something about why these titles are not coming to xbox and uh i, I highly doubt they will but hopefully we'll hear something but anyway i guess it is what it is you'll just have to play it on pc switch or uh playstation or just skip it all around um or, you know, go and find an old copy of it on the Dreamcast or something. <laughs> but let us know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, are you looking forward to the Capcom fighting collection with Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on it? Uh, it's got some other games, but, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is what I'm excited to play and I'm looking forward to it. So um, I love that game. I used to play it all the time back in the day. I'm sure a lot of people did. But anyway, let us know down in the comments below what you all think. Uh, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Help us out. Do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you later. 